Welcome to Blogging for Teachers, part two, getting started. Today, we're going to focus on how you as an educator get your own blog up and running. Now, we're not gonna focus on the how to do WordPress sort of stuff or where should you host your blog. Before you even can think about that, I think it's beneficial to answer a set of questions about what your blog is going to do and how you're going to approach it, all right? So things that I think are important for you to consider before you even write your first post and before you even set up your account with WordPress or whatever um, site that you choose to use. I use WordPress, so I, I sort of say that by default. Um, what do you want your blog to be about? Think about your area of expertise. So I do two blogs. I do Confessions of a Board Academic and that blog focuses on um, mainly teaching issues in higher education, right? Um, you're probably already aware of that. And then for a while, I had a yoga blog. I had my Bikram Yoga Life, um, which was about my Bikram Yoga practice. And then when my studio shut down, I switched over to Academic Yogi um, because I'm an academic and I also practice yoga and I wanted to continue my blog about yoga. So think about what are your areas of expertise, all right? And that's what you want to center your blog about. And there's lots of blogs out there by educators. So before you even um, start to put a blog together, you might want to spend some time, for example, if you think that you want to do something on, um, you know, writing instruction. There, I'm sure there are blogs out there written by teachers that focus on writing. So take some time, read them, think about what you bring to the community that's not already there, okay? So think about what you want to focus on, what's your area of expertise. Who is your primary audience? Who are you speaking to? Okay, that's very important because that's going to determine how you structure your post and it's also gonna help you answer the next question that I have, which is what are some key topics you could get writing about? So you have to know who your audience is and you have to know what your blog's gonna be about in order to be able to think about what you're going to write about once you get your blog started, all right? And then once you've got those first three questions down under your belt, then start to think about what do you want to call your blog? And so um, I actually, my Confessions of a Board Academic blog, I didn't know what to call it at first, so I just named it after myself. And then I went back and changed it because, I mean, I, I knew that was a temporary name, but I wanted to get started blogging and I had the answers to the, you know, my other questions. And so I let the name kind of unfurl from my experiences as I started writing. Any of this stuff can shift over time. Um, any of the answers that you have for these questions might change or get refined. That's what I find as a blogger is that I start a blog, I have specific ideas, I could answer any of these questions that I have for you here, but as I start writing it and it starts to develop a little bit more, then I find that um, some of my answers might change and to these questions they might change and some of them um, might be just further refined. So be open to that. Um, I think it's good to have answers to these questions when you start, but don't let them constrain you. Use it as a launching point and then feel free to tweak your blog as you go from there.